Hi, welcome to Car TV. I'm Neil Schneider, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite hearty soups, and that's the New England Chowder. All right, so today I've got an array of ingredients. This is a little bit of an extensive soup, but it really pays off in the end with just an absolute explosion of flavor. All right, so for starters, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our bacon that we've cut just into bite-sized little chunks here, and we're gonna add them right into the pot. All right, so now that our bacon is almost cooked, we're gonna go in with our onions and carrots next and we're gonna prep our rosemary and thyme. And what I like to do is just gently muddle this. So muddling is just releasing those oils. What I like to do is take the heel of my blade just like this and we just gently break those up. Now I like to keep these herbs whole. The reason being is they're still on the stem so we can really easily remove them later. And that's why I muddle them. We just wanna break up those leaves releasing those oils. So then we're gonna take our onions and carrots and our herbs and we're gonna move on to the pot. So this is pretty much where we want our bacon. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right in with our carrots and our onion. And as this is starting to sweat off, we're gonna add our herbs. All right, so we've got our onions, our carrots, our herbs and our bacon in there. And we wanna cook that for about two to three minutes. We just wanna really let those onions just get a little bit golden brown. And then afterwards, we're gonna go in with our garlic. All right, so we've been cooking this for about two to three minutes now. So we're gonna go in with our thick cut garlic here. Now, once our garlic's cooked off, we're gonna go right in with our potatoes. These are actually very, very quick if we're cutting them at a medium dice. Now at this point, it's not really important to cook the potatoes. We just wanna get them in, folded, starting that process. But what's really important is when it starts to simmer, that's when those potatoes will really start to cook and break down. So next, I've got my seafood here. I have some baby clams and I've got its nectar. I've also got some corn. I've got some broken down crab meat. I've got some leftover salmon here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into the pot with all of the seafood here. as well as the corn. All right, now once those ingredients are in, what I like to do is I grab just half of my rough chopped parsley here, and I'm gonna add that in. And I'm gonna save some for the garnish on top as well later on. So once we've added our seafood and our corn into the chowder, we're gonna go in with our chicken stock, but we're gonna reserve probably about a half cup of the chicken stock, and I'll show you why in a little bit here. It will be for our roux. And then I'm gonna bring this up to a gentle simmer, okay? We're gonna start cooking through all those potatoes. So we're gonna lower the heat just a little bit. We don't wanna rush this process. Go to a medium heat. All right, so while we're waiting for that to simmer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our roux. So we're gonna go into the pan with our butter, and then we're just gonna melt our butter, and we're gonna have our flour on hand, ready to go. Now once we've melted most of our butter, we're gonna go in with our flour, and we're gonna just make sure that we're whisking vigorously as we go. Now, at this point, it's really, really important that we cook this roux out. We don't wanna have a floury chowder. We wanna really just give this a little bit of caramelization almost, almost toasting your flour in the butter. So we'll cook this for about two to three minutes and then we're gonna add in that stock that we reserved. So you can see here, we're pretty much there. It's starting to go a little bit golden brown. And then this is where we're gonna go in with our stock. So we're gonna lower the heat all the way down. Again, we've got very hot fat here. We're adding a liquid to it. We wanna be very, very careful. So we're gonna add our stock in ever so slowly, okay? And we're gonna give that a vigorous whisk. Now, once your stock is incorporated here, we're still on a low heat. We're gonna grab our milk mixture. So this is our milk and our cream and we're gonna go back into the roux. And again, we're gonna make sure we're stirring out all those clumps. All 
All right, so once we've added all of our cream and milk mixture to the roux, we're gonna start adding it to our chowder. So we're just gonna spatula it all right in. And we're gonna grab our whisk. Again, breaking up all those little chunks of roux in there. You're really just making sure that it's well incorporated. So now that you have everything in the pot, we're just gonna have this gently simmer until all the vegetables are cooked and then we'll be ready to season it. And at this point, I don't recommend seasoning it just because the liquid itself will reduce and if you season it with salt at this moment, it could just become overpowering. So I like to season my soups when they're finished. All right, so we've added our roux, we've cooked out our veg, and we're at the point now where we can finish with our seasoning. So I'm gonna go in with my salt and my pepper. Again, this can be to taste, it's really totally up to you. Now before you serve this, you can always kind of fish out any of these kind of rosemary sprigs here. You always want to make sure that you take those out. They're not exactly the best to be chewing on. And then we're ready to serve. So I've got a little bit of my leftover parsley for garnish. We're going to go right into the bowl here. We've got a beautiful chowder. Thanks for tuning into CAR TV. I'm Neil Schneider, and this is one of my favorite ways of making a New England style seafood chowder.